Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be doing my holiday makeup anti-haul. There has been quite a few products that have came out, but nothing has really caught my eye. So I definitely want to share with you guys the products that are holiday releases, but I will not be picking up. So if you are interested to find out what products those are, definitely continue watching. Also, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I do upload three times a week, Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss out. And let's just go ahead and jump right in. onto the trend mood instagram page and i did save a few of the holiday stuff so i'll definitely link trend moods um instagram page down below if you guys want to check them out or check out her page so the first products i have here to share with you guys is by too faced so they are coming out with quite a bit of products the first thing i see here is the cinnamon bear palette um i know my friend rania actually meant told me that she wanted to pick that up but for myself, I am not really interested in it. It does have really pretty shades, but again, I'm just not really interested in the cinnamon bear theme. And I feel like I have these colors in my collection. I've never really been in, gravitated towards like Too Faced holiday stuff. Um, there's been a few things here and there, but the cinnamon bear palette is cute, but I will not be picking up. They also have like holiday sets like eyeshadow palettes. They have like a trio eyeshadow palette with a blush and maybe a highlighting um, product. Again, I'm not really interested in a lot of the Too Faced holiday sets, so I will definitely be, be passing on those. Next up by Pat McGrath. Um, she is coming out with a Celestial Divinity eyeshadow palette. It has 18 stellar space inspired shades. It's actually super pretty and I kind of did a double take to look at it, but I am definitely not picking up the big eyeshadow palette. I'm kind of eyeing one of the smaller ones, but the big one for sure. I don't think I'll be picking up. I'm not really interested in it just because you'll probably buy it, use it a few times and file it. I know the formula is gonna be amazing. I love the Pat McGrath formula. I think it's really nice. Pretty from all the holiday things I'm mentioning. I think that's like one of the prettiest that's coming out for the holidays. Next up, I have some face palettes and they're by Dior. So they're coming out with three face palettes. They're coming out with a gold, a rose gold, and a copper face palette. They're pretty much like highlighting palettes. I do have two of the Dior face palettes. The first one, which is in Universal, I actually really, really liked, which made me want to pick up the second one that came out. I think it's in Glitz. And that one, the top two shades are have glitter in them and I don't like it. It's not the same formula and unfortunately for me, so my nearest Sephora is three hours away so it's not like I can just go into store and swatch things if I want to pick them up, especially not right now during COVID. You can't even swatch anything. It's like, just look at me, you can't touch me. It doesn't say a price on these, but um, the Dior I think runs around $40 or so. So if you see it in store and you don't see any glitter, I definitely recommend you guys picking one of these up. But for myself, I'm not really interested in picking one of these up. Next up is a product from KBD Vegan Beauty. Um, they're coming out with an eyeshadow palette filled with 14 pixel perfect vegan pigments including shimmers that can be used wet or dry um it doesn't even say the name of the palette or anything um it says it's going to be available in october um it at sephora and ulta there's no prices i guess it's just sneak peeks i, I noticed i had a lot of palettes in today's anti-haul Eyeshadow palettes is something that I gravitate towards since I'm always buying eyeshadow palettes. And this one, it's just not pulling me in. It's just not something I'm interested in picking up. I haven't bought in a Kat Von D palette in a while. Well, I guess now it's Kat KVD Vegan Beauty. I'm not really interested. I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. It's just, it has six mattes, eight shimmers, two special effect flip shades. Those will probably be cool. But again, I'm just not gravitated towards the palette, so I won't be not so I will not be picking it up. Next up by Hourglass, I am not gonna be picking it up, but if you're interested in picking it up, maybe you should. <laughs> I really like the ambient lighting palettes. They're really, really nice. Um, and I actually really like the packaging this time. Last year I didn't pick it up because I felt like it looked a little cheap. So I was very interested in picking it up until I saw the inside. The six pan palette costs $80. And then the mini unlocked the 
quad is 58 um i do like the formula on these i think they're really really nice i actually really like the blush formula so if it was like an all blush like last year i think i would have picked it up this year but it just has those light lightning lightning i can't say it lightning yeah lighting lighting <laughs> lighting uh shades and it has one blush type color and i'm just not interested again if it was like an all marbled blush with one bronzer or something i would have picked it up but i'm just not interested but the formula is super super nice so if you've been eyeing it i would definitely recommend uh, next up i have some gloss bombs by fenty beauty um there are four brand new mini shades in ruby milk cake shake taffy teas baby brut i'm not sure on the price these are actually already available i saw them on the sephora app earlier let me see how much they cost so these retail for 36 dollars um and they're just new shades that are coming out i really like the formula but the shades i'm not really interested in and i'm not really using a lipstick right now i've been picking one lipstick for shop my stash and it's this one that i'm wearing this week too i'm wearing it to film like i'm not wearing it out to work i'm not wearing it out masks are a must right now and i'm not going to be wearing a, a, a lipstick and wearing a mask and looking like the joker when I take it off so I just don't I don't wear any lipsticks right now so I am kind of interested in the liquid lipstick I definitely like to pick that up but for right now I'm not going to just because I know I'm not using any lip products really right now so that is definitely a product that I will not be picking up next up I have a, another eyeshadow palette it's by Charlotte Tilbury I'm looking at my phone if you guys I keep looking down mostly um this is the instant eye palette bejeweled eyes to hypnotize includes 12 shades inspired by the world the world's most brilliant gems okay so this palette says it retails for 60 euros i think the color scheme is kind of cool you know everyday kind of palettes but charlotte tilbury has never really like gravitated me in to pick it up i do have the pillow talk blush and there was a time where everybody was raving about it so i wanted to jump on that bad wagon but charlotte tilbury palettes have never really gravitated me to buy them i think they're around 60 dollars i wonder if it's on the sephora app yet 75 dollars is how much those usually retail for this one's the pillow talk palette but i'm assuming it's going to cost around the same amount 75 dollars for the same kind of layout as like an urban decay palette i don't know definitely not for me i'm not going to be picking that up for sure um it looks really nice for everyday use but i don't know maybe it's because i've never really tried the eyeshadow formula that i'm just like 75 dollars no thank you i don't know i know there's a few people that do like the charlotte tilbury formula but for me right now i won't be picking that up next up i have the mark jacobs cherry collection um i guess it's the very merry cherry by mark jacobs it has a iconic multi-finish eye, eye palette in sherific that's cute um, that one reaches for $49.50. Omega Glaze All Over Foil Illuminizer, a mascara, a cream lipstick. Um, it's cute. The packaging is super cute, but I'm not going to be picking that up. I, I'm not really interested in it. The packaging is really cute. I like the teal color. But again, it's just not, I, I, I haven't found something. I think there's like a couple holiday things that I'm interested in picking up. But a lot of the holiday stuff that's coming out, it's not really pulling me in. Which I guess is a good thing for my pocket. Um, next up, I have some mini eyeshadow palettes by Too Faced. There's the Kitty Likes to Scratch eyeshadow palette. Light My Fire eyeshadow palette. Salted Caramel, Gingerbread Spice kitty likes to scratch that's kind of funny i've never read the names i was just looking at the color schemes which they kind of all kind of have the same color schemes a few pops of colors here and there and that's funny kitty licks likes to scratch <laughs> i i don't know i'm not really gravitated towards any of these little minis one that i am wanting is the pumpkin spice palette that one's super pretty and from what i've seen it's like really pigmented as well so i'm definitely interested in that and 
yeah so much for an anti haha -ha. i'm like i'm not buying this but i'll be picking this up instead <laughs> uh, the last thing i have for you guys i didn't i was looking through the trend moon site and i didn't really see a lot of holiday stuff i feel like there's not that much holiday stuff out right now but um is by Tarte. So they're coming out with the Tarte like, Give, Gift, and Get Amazonian Clay Eyeshadow Set. It's going to retail for $49. You get Lil Bloom, Lil Toasted, Lil Juicy. Those are cute names. Um, I had little, little. I had Tartlet Toasted. I bought it on sale and I never used it. I actually still have it. I think it's still new, still untouched. Definitely probably will throw it in a won't throw it i'll put it in a future giveaway most likely so i don't want to pick up these palettes i think they would be awesome for traveling because i find myself actually using a little bit of shadow when i'm out of town just because i'm not spending so much time to do eyeshadow like i am when i go to work and stuff so there's other sets here that would be probably nice to get which i won't be mentioning since this is an anti-haul but let me know if you guys want me to do like holiday makeup that i am interested in i do have a few things i'm interested in but not very many to be honest which is probably a good thing and yeah i guess that is all i have for you guys in today's video i was kind of looking through the trend mood site again and i didn't see very many holiday stuff that was intriguing enough to talk about anyway so i hope you guys enjoyed this anti-haul let me know down below if you're picking up any of the products i mentioned what do you think of them what do you think of my thoughts let me know i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up please also subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you all in my next video bye